what is up everybody I hope you are having a fantastic day and this video is dedicated to the Dragoon everybody's most favorite unit in the game that can do what no other unit can it can kill dragons and beasts I'm just kidding other units can do that too but what are we talking about we're talking about some builds for them we're talking about some build ideas and little strategies and what you do with him how do you build him how do you use him and just some little little things about them. So, in case you don't know, the Dragoon is kind of, kind of, if not one of the most situational units in the game. Even more situational than a Cleric. I know it's hard to believe that there's a unit more situational than a Cleric. But the Dragoon, unless the enemy has a type of beast or a dragon, I don't know why you would feel the Dragoon. I've had people say, oh, well, my Dragoon's my big damage dealer. He's always in my wall. I'm glad you're wasting two skill slots. Then, you know, I don't, I don't know why. I, I'm glad you're you're putting Rampart Aura over here and uh, <laughs> you're putting a Pincer Attack on there so your Dragoon can just be a regular unit because, you know, you probably, you know, you know, you're one of those people. You're a Dragoon fanboy. I get it. I get it. But all seriousness, all jokes aside. So there's a couple ways that I feel the Dragoon works. There's two really good ways to do it. You set one up for a Dragon Killer and you set one up for a Beast Killer, right? Those are those are two very effective builds. And then, you know, it's kind of your choice of weapons. I prefer spears. I really like spears a lot. You know, cudgels probably wouldn't use them on a dragoon. Uh, you know, and then everything else is alright. Axes, swords, bows, crossbows, you know, or, well, crossbows, not bows. You know, so, my other guy is a sword and crossbow user. One of the coolest things about dragoons, which the tool tips in this game, I'm going to say this in every video I make, like, from now on. And you probably already heard me say this, but the tooltips are totally wrong in most of the things. And the wording is so bad that, like, I don't know if it's lost in translation or they were just so lazy when it came over from the PSP version. They just copy pasted. But Beast Bane and Beast Slayer. Let's read these tooltips. I already made a video on this, but I just want to go over it in case people don't know. So, increases the melee damage dealt to Beast units by friendly units within three tiles. Okay. Beast Slayer causes melee attacks on Beasts to deal increased damage. Now, when something says melee in this game, this is going to sound really weird because I don't think it makes sense either. It just means any attack that's not a magical spell. It means, when it says melee, it just means attack. It just means attack. So it means a ranged attack, a melee attack, doesn't matter. So the both of these spells, both of these skills, on both of them, will benefit both your ranged weapon and your melee weapon if you have one equipped. So... Keep that in mind when you're using this character. So this will buff your archers. This will buff any unit within three tiles, both their melee and their range. And obviously this beast slayer will increase the damage of melee or range. So keep that in mind. This is something that, like I said, is a common theme in the game where things are misworded with melee. And it doesn't just mean melee. It means physical attack. And a bow is a physical attack because you're hitting them with a physical arrow. It doesn't mean spells or anything, obviously. But that's what makes a Dragoon a little bit better because he can buff your other units to be more effective against the beasts or the dragons as well if they're within three tiles. So that's something that really, really, really helps and is very, very strong that you wouldn't really think would affect certain units, but it does. So makes them very solid, even better at doing what they do because... Like I said, they're going to buff your other units and make them more stronger against beasts and dragons. And, you know, we don't get any spells. And, you know, I have HP here because I have a two-handed weapon with a spear. So there's really, you know, I I don't know why you'd want to put ramp, you know, make a frontline dragoon. Or put, like, rampart or in siege. I guess, like I said, if there's no beasts and you really, really love dragoons and you want to put on rampart aura and siege and stuff, like, you know, and have them be a frontline monster. I mean, it's... I wouldn't say it's out of the realm of possibility. I wouldn't be surprised if people do that. I've already had people kind of say that before anyway. So, you know, I mean, you don't have to set them up for a Beast Slayer or a Dragon Slayer if there's none of them. And you just really like Dragoons and you think you're a big Spear fan. And Dragoons are one of the classes that gets to use Spear. You know, not everybody gets to use Spears. So, I totally understand that. But yeah, that's just kind of a little bit more. I mean, the Dragoon's really, really simple as far as builds go. I mean, I don't really think you can build a Dragoon wrong necessarily. And I mean, obviously, when you get one, you know what they're supposed to do. So really, it's just weapon choice and maybe one skill here or there. Or like I said, if you're going to be crazy and have one all the time, you know. 
But what do you guys think? Do you uh, do you use Dragoons? Are they uh, just situational? Are you one of those main Dragoon fanboys that has a Dragoon in your party all the time because you love Dragoons from other games and stuff and you just like that unit, you know? Let me know. I mean, I know they're really good in Palace of the Dead because we got Undead Dragons, we got Undead Beasts. These guys are like MVPs down there, man. Like, you almost have a Dragoon in every party because like almost every floor has Undead Creatures down there whether it be beasts or dragons. So, I mean, I think you're always going to bring a Dragoon and Palace of the Dead. Correct me if I'm wrong, almost. I almost find them more useful than a Cleric down there, honestly, if we're... I mean, think about it. I mean, there's going to be more chances when I'm going to be fighting those when I, than when I need to heal units. I mean, <laughs> what, right? But anyway, let me know, guys. Well, how do you build your Dragoons? How do you use them? What do you think? I think Dragoon's a fine class. I just think it's very situational. And other than that, I think it's really cool. I like Dragoons in general. I think Dragoons are really cool in any game. So thank you all so much for watching. Again, let me know down below what you think, what you use, how you build them. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, later, guys. Peace.